The topic of vector components is essential in solving vector problems. To fully understand this video, make sure to review the topics of trigonometry, conversion of coordinate systems, and the definition of vectors. Subsequently, you can use this lesson as an introduction to vector addition. As always, please understand the proper use of the Pythagorean theorem and Sokatoa. I will now demonstrate vector components on a simple example. There are two strategies to use, each more useful for certain problems than the other. In the first strategy, we will set up a consistent coordinate system and stick to it throughout the problem. Remember, direction only has a meaning once we have set up reference directions. In this strategy, we set up both the angular and the Cartesian systems. The vector components will refer to the Cartesian representation of the vector. To get this, we will use the methods learned from coordinate system conversion. We set up the right triangle with sides parallel to the Cartesian axis. We use SOCATOA to get expressions for those sides from the polar representation. We plug in with units and check that our answer is sensible. In this example, remember that the sides each must be less than the magnitude of the total vector. Both components are in the positive direction. And based on the geometry, the y component must be smaller than the x component. Once we have this expression, we are ready to use it in vector addition. Vector addition will be addressed in a different video, but as an example, 
here is the use of vector components using a consistent coordinate system in calculating relative position. between two position vectors A and B. The position of B relative to A expressed mathematically as B minus A is 2.8 meters in the negative Y direction. Here is an alternative way of handling vector components. In this strategy, we will calculate the magnitudes of the components first and let the physics equations later handle their direction. These are useful for problems involving force. In this strategy, we set up an intermediate corner system designated by a single apostrophe referred to as prime that must still be parallel to our ultimate coordinate system. We set up our right triangle along this new coordinate system. We will need to recalculate the angle of the triangle before using SOCATOA to calculate the magnitude of the components. Again, check that the magnitudes of the sides relative to the hypotenuse and to each other are sensible. Now that we have the magnitudes, we need to use the negative sign as the direction once we use them to solve a problem. In this example, we are calculating a net force by two forces. The magnitudes are in the x direction 2.7 newtons and 2.4 newtons. Because the second force has an x component in the negative direction. We subtract it in the equation. Be aware that in later problems, not only must you flip, but you may have to also rotate your coordinate system.
In the final part of this lesson, you must learn to convert back from Cartesian to polar representation of a vector. This is largely a repeat of what you've learned about coordinate system conversion. You set up both coordinate systems You draw the right triangle You apply the Pythagorean theorem and you use the arctangent to get the angle. 